Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 13 of our Civ 6 Congo Let's Play. We're on turn number 212, and the year is 1505 AD, and we are colonizing over here. That's pretty exciting. And we are at peace, so that's exciting. So we are growing quickly. Uh, our industrial uh, base is uh, feeling very strong right now. And uh, it's only getting stronger as we build factories in our cities. We're expanding over here onto this continent. That's exciting. I am trying to take a wide approach to this game. Uh, it's been pretty fun so far, although I have been in a lot of wars. People don't seem to like my taking this aggressive approach. Uh, but, uh, you know what? Too bad. It's the, the way I'm playing. And uh, I, I, can't seem to f I can't seem to figure out how to make a, uh, diplomacy work properly. I never remember to set up embassies or anything like that. No, nope. see, people I think should be my friends won't be my friends. Um, so I don't know if it's broken or if I'm not putting in the right effort. But either way, uh, diplomacy never does me any good, and everybody ends up declaring war on me anyways, even though I don't really do much of anything. Um, mm, building a lot of these uh, little three-way food things, which are very lucrative and uh, help your cities grow quickly uh, the city is doing all right um, I don't know when you're able to build farms on hills so I know it's a technology you get eventually uh, but for now how's this city doing uh, it seems like it would be pretty close to having you know like more than enough stuff uh, it's using up all the well it is using up pretty much all of the good stuff uh, so, oh, and interestingly, uh, its industrial zone is there, but it doesn't really get to use the mines next to it. So it's getting the bonus for the adjacency, uh, but it's not getting to actually use the tiles. So let's move that to there. And, uh, like, uh, Congo has taken up, uh, all of the, uh, taken up all the good tiles here. Uh, so I did, uh, activate those dyes finally. That will be good for the city. I know there was something else I wanted to do. Is it build this, uh, build the uh, food source there? I know I'm putting in plenty of uh, mine tiles up here. As a matter of fact, let's um, let's select the city, not the worthless uh, religious unit, and we're going to manage citizens, and we're going to swap this one over to uh, to this city. Uh, because uh, Congo is benefiting from having the the uh, the mines that are being built for that industrial zone. Um, so I wanted to do something to bring bring production to this city. Going to Congo would be three food and five and a half gold, and uh, nobody else can really match that. So we're going to do that. Begin route. Over here, well, we've pretty much got this whole shoreline explored. And there's another ship coming up from down there that's going to help wrap that up. So not a whole lot going on in, uh, in this ocean. Captain, Captain Ship Driver down here. Oh, look at this. A nice little island. I should probably colonize that. All right, builder, chop down that jungle. Wait, what? Oh, how did I separate those two? Strange. And uh, that's the end of your turn. So, Kinkasa just built the industrial zone? Probably. Um... I don't know that I'd necessarily want to have you expand that. I probably should have you build a uh, builder so you can do a little bit more development. Another religious unit. Oh boy, those are both pretty pointless. Um, an amphitheater, sure. Why not? Next turn. Thirteen gold per turn. I will accept that. Oh, you're welcome, other friend. Goodbye. Let's see if I can uh, 
Wait, you won't like me because I don't have religion, so there's no point in me trying to uh, trying to make friends with you. Build battle. Did uh, did that ship up here just? Um. Oh yeah, he pillaged my harbor. Hey. I don't like that. It's gonna, I'm going to have to repair that now. And also somehow managed to get my crossbowman to shoot you in that weird location. Oh, crossbowman. There we go. Nope, did not kill it. So I should probably have a local navy. Oh, you tricked me. Tricky square. I can't build a farm there. So I'm just going to leave it empty. Because I'll be able to eventually. And I will have the last laugh. And over here. They were going to. We were going to do that for the farm area there. So I could actually get this square in as well. Although. Do I want to waste the gold that I have on buying a square I don't really need? I don't think so. Um, oh, there's a great merchant. Plus one economic policy slot in any government. Well, that was worth waiting for. Jeez. What a crazy uh, great person that one is. And 315 towards a wonder. I don't know that there are any wonders I want to build. Oh, I didn't build the terracotta army? All right, yeah, I'll take the terracotta army. Why not? Or I could hold on to it too. Hold on to that the uh, the great person. Uh, what was I wanting to become suzerain of Toronto, wasn't it? Yes. Regional effects expand further. Confirm placement. Unit needs orders. And this is these guys who are exploring down here, my little uh, my little island. And that must be why they unhooked because I, when I attacked or something. Oh, and another island, like stepping stones in a way. Although I still got to get around whoever that is, uh, Arabia or whatever that's down there. And there's no Southern Passage. So I'd have to go the very long way around I'd have to go around there to... It's like my Australia over there. Uh, or... I guess if I could get permission from America to get through there? I don't know. And why don't these guys... Why are they leaving this whole area un, unutilized? Because it's desert? Is that all desert? I guess that's a good reason. But over here? Look at that. That's beautiful. Come on, Japan. You're leaving a lot on the table. I'm going to come over here and do Kinkasa's dirty work for them. This is a... It's the great engineer. It is. Oh, and he's got two actions. Well, well, that was a nice... And what does this great engineer do? How do I have two great engineers? Was I already sitting on one? Huh. Um... Uh, well, that's not going to give me any details on uh, what he can do, is it? Gantz 315 production. Okay, and so what does this other guy do then? James of St. George. Builds ancient medieval walls and provides the gold to, for their maintenance. And, and I've just been sitting on you this whole time, huh? Uh, that's frustrating. Um, but, oh, hmm, I can't put my new colony there because there's a barbarian encampment there. I guess I could put it there, but then I would lose out on that copper. Alright, well I'll send I'll send this other guy up here and I will have you do something else. Like build a builder, let's say. Great. So uh let's go back down here and we're gonna send James of St. George to that city. 
And, oh, he's going to be able to do that in two different cities as well. So that's nice. He can take care of both of those. Well, I'm glad I sat on that, sat on that unit. I don't think I meant to sit on it for so long. I may have commented on what my intention was when I did it. Adam Smith, what are you going to do here? Oh, you're going to give me that government uh, card. Yeah, I'll take it. Please. Activate effect. Nice. Very nice. Change policies. Culture and science from international trade routes. Well, most of my trade routes are domestic. So plus one culture for every specialty district it constructs. That would be uh, pretty good right now. I think that would give me a boost of like 15 culture or something. I've been building a lot of districts lately. So let's go with that one. Yeah, 17 culture from that. And oh, please take me off of the religious. Such an ugly map. Yeah, skip. Mm. Skip turn, please. All right. And uh, you, uh, let's get the. Uh, I don't know if I want to use you on building a wonder. I guess I could use you on building a wonder in a different city. So I don't want to build the Terracotta army there and lose my farm. I don't know that it's worth it. Uh, I don't have any other... That's the only encampment that I have, isn't it? Well, that's a shame. Is there any other wonders I could build? Coastal wonders or anything? Ruhr Valley would be nice. has to be adjacent to a river. And adjacent to an industrial zone. Well, that's... Pretty easy. Why can't I build it down here then? Oh, it requires a factory. All right. Well, you're going to be very useful for building that Ruhr Valley. Do I want to have it on you? This factory it would not be able to be adjacent to a river. This factory, I could definitely be adjacent to a factory and a river. That would make this city just amazing. So I'm going to have you actually go up here, but I'll still uh, I'll still build a factory in the capital building and the capital city as well. And this crossbowman, why are you activated? Oh, because you were shooting at that ship that was uh, beating up on my harbor. Stupid ship. Go fight. Go barbarianize somewhere else. I don't need you tearing up my shores. All right, well, this is going to be the end of this uh, boat's journey. Just going to find out that it can't go anywhere once it gets down here. So I should probably send it back home to defend my, uh, to defend my shoreline. Oh, yeah, I never think to do... What do you have to do to... Whoa, that's not what I want to do. I'm trying to remember how you rotate the rotate the screen. There we go. Ooh, fancy. Fancy wonder. Too bad you can't pan. I guess, I, yeah, yeah, you can't pan at all. It's just, that's a shame. Uh, I'm not complaining. The game looks great. I'm really happy with it. A little cluttered, maybe. But I like the art style and the colors. Um, so you built a wonder. That's fantastic. You deserve all of the great things that you get. But what you really need is housing. Unfortunately, you don't have the right... Oh, and you're not going to be able to. Wow. You're not going to be able to build any housing. I guess you could if you built it on top of... Um, I would have to tear down... Well, I could just build it on top of that, and it would just tear them down for me. That's what I'm going to have to do. You're going to be a uh, poor city. or uh, You're not going to be an industrially 
powerful city. So, you know, I'm not going to build that yet because I want to build the commercial district first. And then I will build. But now, it gives me a plus five there. Why did I prefer this location to that one? I think I'm going to take that one. We can delete you. But then I'm going to have to build a Mombanza next turn. I guess I could... Um, I don't think you can build woods yet. Um, so you are going to go to that one. And you, I think... I mean, I guess I should find out what's down here. They are my neighbors. And I don't think you were really short on anything. You're probably going to want to build a housing unit on your next turn. How about up here? Town seems to be doing all right. I'd say that a worker could be used down here for sure. So let's start moving you down that way. Another religious unit that's going to drive me crazy every time it keeps popping up. Do I want to try getting a little more international trade? I could get plus 10 gold there. Plenty of plus 10 golds. Plus 8 with 2 culture. 11 with 2 culture. 10 with a science and 2 culture. Well, that one is the best I've seen so far. Yeah, all right. 10 with a science and 2 culture it is. Charleston. Begin route. Wow, so close. Just right across the border. So it's not going to last very long. I'll have to keep telling it over and over again. Um... Right. Is there... I mean, I can set you to auto-explore. You should wrap wrap the map up for me. But it looks like I've got it mostly explored. So you can go all the way back home. That's fantastic. 546, can I beat it? does not look like I can. Great. Well, that's going to be really beneficial to you. You're just going to creep along the bottom here until you run out of room, and you're going to head back home. Another tribal village. Uh, do I, I don't think I still have any scouts hanging around here. I'm sure I don't. Not that they would be trained up enough to really do any good. Um, you were going to help out with the wonder that this city is going to build. So let's put you to sleep for now. I wonder if the adjacency to the commercial district uh, with that wonder, I wonder if that'll help the commercial district at all. Oh, look at this. Maybe, maybe I gave up too soon. I don't think so, though. Build the canal city there right next to Barcelona. I don't think it's going to let me do that. Where did my... Oh, there he is. Oh, huh. Funny. So he is going to be able to walk in and, and take over that uh, barbarian outpost. I thought I was going to have to find somewhere else to build my city, but I guess not. All right. So uh, I have this trader, which is going to skip its turn because he's going to be attached to that new city when it opens up here next turn. Um, I mean, what am I supposed to say here? We are, uh, our borders are adjacent. You know, I can't help that my troops are next to your borders. You know I'm not going to attack you. I, I have, my army is pathetic. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and found this city here. And it is called Mabamba. 
And so, you, my friend, are going to move to Mabamba. I was going to build my little food triangle there. But I think you will... Oh, I need a mine. That's right. Because uh, I built that industrial area. And down here... Oh, so close. You could almost taste it. Now you got to go the long way to... Wait a minute. You can't go that way. Oh, oh the general probably can. But the uh, ship... Caravel, seriously? You know you can't go there. Oh, oh and it's going to try to let you do it anyways. No, I'm not even going to try. Of course it can't. And you are going to fortify and defend that city. We need to figure out some production. But let's figure out production for this other city first. Despite hanging over that city like it was going to be that city's turn. So I wanted to build. I'm good on housing and I'm good on amenities for now. I have an industrial zone and a campus. I guess a theater square would be appropriate for this point in the game. Well, that would hurt the campus if I built the theater square there. I guess I could build it here in this kind of boring. I don't really know that the theater square does it. Does it need to be? I feel like it must give a, uh, a radius bonus at some point. But I'm going to stick it there anyways. Over here, why don't you go ahead and start out with a monument because you're going to get your walls and stuff pre-built. And uh, I think you were going to come over and s start help tearing down some of these uh, jungles, huh? Building farms. Next turn. Oh. So, well, yeah, okay. See, that's a reasonable... Uh, I don't know about the yielding so easily. I haven't surrendered to anybody or... You know, I've gotten very favorable peace agreements from everyone. So I don't know what you mean by yielding. But, uh, yes, I do avoid bloodshed. That's for sure. Uh, if that's a threat against me, you know, go ahead. Bring it on. Uh, I've got that one city is pretty, pretty defendable. Um, these other ones, maybe not so much. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to fo focus on bumping these two cities up, though, actually. Uh there's no reason to not have two trade routes running out of each of them. Give them some serious, uh, give them some serious boosts. Uh, what's this other one called? La Bamba. So you've got not only do you have those zones, you've got them uh, boosted all the way. Theater Square would be the best option then not quite sure why you get the plus one adjacency but that's the place where you're going to get it from it's right there choose production up here oh that's right you're going to build that wonder and you're going to build it right there yes that is what i want to do and you use your power that's not how you use your power must be on the wonder all right there we go. Use that power. Boom. Do I want to use them both? This is a big wonder and it's expensive. So he doesn't like that I'm not researching enough. I feel like we're doing all right. I guess we could uh, look at the look at the overall. See how we're doing. That's us, right? We're in in the same group. We are behind Sumeria and Greece, but that's okay. We are not too far behind, right? So we are quite a ways behind. We are barely in the Renaissance era, and they're in the Industrial era. So, yeah. Oh, no, wait. I'm in. I'm in the Industrial era. So they're just further along in the Industrial era. Get over yourselves. 
Jeez. The nerve of some people. Let's let's just burn through this and, and get that thing built quickly. As a matter of fact, let's make sure that everybody's focusing on the construction over there. Um, well, everything seems to be focused on construction overall, so I guess I don't need to make sure that's the case. Uh, we're growing, we have room, and we have amenities to grow, so I guess I don't need to worry about that. Uh, here, you are going to... Oh, that's a trade route, so the trade route probably wants to... Do I want to go just for production? I think I'm going to go mostly for production. So that'll make that one the correct, correct option. Yep, you don't need to show me where it's going to. Just that it's going to go somewhere and do some good. There you go. Let's build your walls. And down here, you're probably going to go the same route. Oh, you're going to go Congo, and then I guess you're going to be, going to be able to do both at the same time. And you are going to build a mine. Dig one up. Dig it up. Building those uh, specialty districts really fast. All right, a boost towards class struggle. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. No, none of these are really all that exciting. This one, well, I'm not even sure if I'm a suzerain. I want to be one, but I don't know that I am still one. It's going to be a, oh, I have two envoys. Well, let's see if I am a suzerain or not. Guess you get to it that way. I am still the Suzer in there. I'm going to boost that up one. I don't know that I can get any more, but I can start getting some uh, just the general one level one bonuses. All right, so it gives you the same no matter which of those you do. I wouldn't mind being Suzer in there in Stockholm. What's the other science one? Greece. Uh, that one I'm not so interested in, so we'll take that one. Like that one... Envoy is really going to make the decision for me. Oh, another apostle. Kidding me? All right, so you have built quite a bit of stuff. Oh, yeah, I should build a spy. I can't believe I don't have one yet. Catherine's probably pulling her hair out. Frustration that I don't have a spy. So you built your uh, housing, that's good. You have one more build. I do want to build a mine there. So I guess I'll cut down the trees, which will make it obvious what my intention is. Has is, uh, is this continent mostly been converted? It's been mostly converted. Well, I don't mind keeping a healthy uh, variety of religions on my continent, so I'll come over and play with these city-states. And it wouldn't hurt me to have an amphitheater. Wow, the city is doing great, and I almost didn't build it. I don't need a... Do I need a Mabanza? Another one? Already? I still have plenty of amenities. Let's build up some culture. Gonna need to start uh, making room for artifacts before too long. Oh yeah, real soon here. Just 12 turns. Well, I need some of those museums. I only need to build one to get that boost. So I uh, am actually gonna change this to building an archeological museum so I can get that boost. Which will get me an archeologist real soon. All right, let's go. Let's go convert these heathens. That's fun. Oh man, that was so fun. I don't know why I'm not playing the religious thing. I could have, could have legitimately been concerned about changing that town to my religion. Mm-hmm. Means I need to start upgrading units. Probably be a good idea, or else I'll get invaded. That much I think I figured out. Spread this religion. Uh, oh, another apostle. Come on over and spread your religion as well. 
couple of occurrences of niter. There's one. Well, that'll help. Uh-huh. Yep, I see that one. Thank you. How about the next one? Hmm. Must be buried, because I am not seeing it. Is it underneath my city, perhaps? Um, it, it is showing up in my strategic resources, so... Wow, that's the only strategic resource I have so far, this far in the game. Good thing I had a uh, a uh, swordsman substitute. Another reason I like having a swordsman substitute, if I didn't mention that before. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. My cities are growing pretty quickly. All right, what are you doing? Why don't you go ahead and uh, try to spread your religion a little more? There you go. Yeah, be a Protestant. It's fun. I don't know how much good I'm doing to... Spain or whatever, the, the real founder of that religion, by spreading it around for him. But I'm going to have to continue doing that because they're just going to keep sending me more more units. Boring. Oh, also boring. Neither one of those are worth anything. Let's get to this culture stuff caught up. I'm so far behind. And here's these ships, and I believe that these guys were heading back home. All right, and that's the end of the turn, which means it's the end of the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. You should click the like button down below if you did like this video. And uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, that's a good thing to do, too. And uh, uh, watch more videos uh, and leave some comments in the commentary down below. And uh, I thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.